The whole thing is defund the police, as they want to say. And uh, a lot of people are confused as to what defund the police means. Um, you have, uh, you have like the police, the, the guy that's head of the New York City Police Benevolence Association or whatever, or the police union, one of those fucking crews. And he was out there, he was like damn near about to cry because they're talking about defunding them. And he's like, we're good people. Uh, oh, I was like, yeah, that speech? Are you talking about yeah. that? Somebody, no yeah. yeah, somebody, somebody on Twitter put um fucking hoods on all of their faces and let that speech play. Oh, that shit be funny. I know somebody took a clip. They took that clip and then they added all of the NY only NYPD uh, highlights of what they've done. Right. Just in the last few weeks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is all NYPD. This isn't across the country. This right. is NYPD. That's how much shit they got on it. Just for the last three weeks, and you talking about oh, we're, my 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 badge is clean. Oh, like what no, the it ain't. Because if 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 you're the head of the the police union or police benevolence association, whichever one it is, if your badge can't be clean, if everybody else out here, and we're not yeah. saying everybody badge is dirty, but if you got some dirty badges that we've seen, mm-hmm. but he ain't been have on to. Man, you can tell he in the office, but those same cops. It doesn't matter. Him, you're you're still you still need to be held accountable. Yeah, those same cops that killed Eric Gardner are still working for NYPD. Come on now. You know, so. Now. And so the crazy part, right, is they released um, a statement, like, or paperwork showing that, well, they're not showing, somebody found out, like, the police, the New York City police alone gets funded $6 billion. No, not $6 million, $6 billion. That's mm-hmm. a lot of fucking money for police and like some of them were saying like yo that's a lot of their salaries like especially when they first begin is like the equivalent of like 18 19 dollars like so where does the six billion dollars go to like so yeah i do i do agree like yeah bomb well, shit six billion if y'all take one billion of those dollars and put it back into the community it isn't going to really affect the police Man, and everybody they stupid shit like body cams that they forget to turn turn on. Right. Uh, I, they might be sending it to the Republicans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, that might be a political front too. They're probably putting that money into the Republicans' party, but like, it's definitely not going to the hood. Right. I mean, how, how many body cams and shit can you buy these cops? Six billion. Right. And you're buying body cams and they don't work. So yeah. somebody's lying here. I to cut it on. They had it on last night or the other night though in Atlanta. So, yep. and now you got it on when somebody's drunk. Now you, uh, yeah. All the other incidents, it, was, it wasn't working. The weird thing about that whole thing is New York, New York State alone is known for having high taxes. So mm-hmm. if the city is getting $6 billion, what do you think the rest of the state is getting? That's insane. Uh-huh. But we can't, we can't get a, a fucking decent school for the kids. We can't get, you know, because... At this point, it ain't about me or, you know, my peers. It's about the future, the kids. Like, you know, give them something, put something in the communities because now, what, what is it, like 40 million people don't have jobs or something? Yeah, something 40, like that. 40 million people. Like, their jobs not coming back yet? Now, some of them, their jobs aren't going to come back. But you would think right. shit is working slowly. Some of these people's jobs have got to be coming back by now. Who, a lot of people don't want to come back. They got lazy been sitting at home three months. Yeah, collecting that unemployment. I don't feel like coming back. So, I mean, uh, after a week, I was like, I don't feel like coming back. I'm Word. Three <laughs> Shit, after four days, I was like, I don't want to go back. Like yeah. three, but Imagine four months. I'm like, bro, I really wouldn't want to, especially if I'm getting paid. Shit, last year I was out fucking six and a half weeks. I fucking tore a uh, muscle in my um elbow. Six and a half weeks. So imagine when I had to go back, I was like, Yo, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> but yeah no they they want to defund the police and unfortunately the the verbiage that they're using makes people think that they're saying uh dismantle the police or stop paying the police or it's like it's no that's not oh, it do it for free <laughs> right you should, you should make us pay them with our taxes I, i'll put it like that Right, what well, we do that's yeah. that's the problem don't like the, the motherfuckers don't let, don't make us pay them right but that that's for some reason like the way that the I don't know. 
I'm not I'm not a numbers guy. Uh, and I, huh? Yeah, city taxes, state taxes, and right, they, all of that dumb shit. Like, nah, I listen. My head hurts just thinking about trying to fucking <laughs> where to begin with that shit. But um, what what do you, what is what's your take on it? Should it should they defund the police? Like, or do you think it really doesn't matter because, as you said, it might be more laundering or a front. Laundering. You could defund them, but I mean, it's, it's not. If it's not gonna, the, the whole problem with the police is just they, they gotta. It's the the treatment that they give us, and it's just the the uh, the injustice. Really, that's the only problem I have with the police. Talk to motherfuckers like you got some sense, and stop killing people. What about like? Reason. We keep going back to that situation. All he had to do was shoot the man in the leg. Mm. You know, when he turns around and runs. But I guess you're upset because he whooped your ass, and then on top of that, he tried to tase you. So you just cops and robbers boom like that's the only thing i'm holding them accountable for you know what i mean talk well, the, to people got some damn sense that too so my thing is this right two points if you if they if they think that you're taking money out of their pockets what the hell you think they're going to do like look at people right now they don't have any money because they're fucking sitting at home basically taking money out of their pockets by making them stay home they can't go to work their jobs are closing whatever whatever people start acting up when they don't have money. Like, fuck that. Like, I, I got bills to pay. I got kids to feed. Mm-hmm. And two, like you said, the treatment, I think that they should have a different type of training because anybody who knows um, police or kind of how they, like, at the gun range, they are trained to shoot, like, in the chest, in the head, like, you know, the, the upper torso. If you go to a gun range, there's never, like, a full length, a uh, full body a uh, piece of paper where they're like, all right, now aim for the kneecap or, you know, it's like, it's always the chest and, the, and up. So they're, they're taught to shoot to kill. Yeah. They need to change that. They have a lot of military type training that they do at these police academies. And right. I'm like, you're not military. You're not Air Force. You're not, you're not, you're not Marine. the Marines, motherfucker. Yeah, you're not the Marines. They need to dumb down some of the training. Um, because they, they train them like military. And I'm like, no, these motherfuckers are cops. They're supposed to be playing with the kids in the neighborhood and assisting old ladies and, you know, right. shit like that. You know what I mean? I, I didn't have that relationship with cops growing up, but that's what you see on TV in the white neighborhoods. That's what they do. Right. And I was I was having that conversation with um, another carrier at work. I was saying the police should be out here the same way that we are out here. You supposed to be in the same neighborhood every day. You know the people by name. You know the families. You know what's going on. So that way you know how to deal with certain situations. Not mm-hmm. you over here today. You take a nap in that neighborhood tomorrow. Like these, yeah. they just they sit around doing nothing, just waiting for something to pop off so they can shoot. Yeah, like I guess I've lived in a lot of neighborhoods, and I've never had any personal relationship with any of the police officers in my no. neighborhood because there was okay. different cops in and out. They didn't come out their cars. A lot of times they were terrified to even get out the car, depending on where we was at. Certain parts of Brooklyn, Queens, they wouldn't even want to get out the car. These white boys, was, they, they scared. I'm like, why are you putting these shook up boys in, in the hood? They don't even want to come out amongst the people. And they just, they they patrol the area, you know, just get their hours out. And then they leave. Yep. And they only come out the car if they have to. So <laughs> they're not even trying to have that rebuttal, that 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 chemistry you're talking about, like, oh, Miss James down the street. And, right. oh, let me introduce myself to the new neighbor. They don't, that, that shit don't exist. Nope. Unfortunately, that's the way that it, it rolls. Okay, so mm-hmm. moving along.